beautiful grocery store this is. Oh. Let's go grocery shopping because we need food. Oh shoot, do we have eggs at home? I don't know. We should go. We should. We have to go back and check. Does this ever happen to you? <laughs> what is in your fridge? Well, you don't know. You've been here for three days. Well, thanks to the funding from our generous families, I, Nathaniel Ye, am proud to introduce my company, Intellihome's new product, the Telefridge. First of all, I would like to introduce my team. I'm Nathaniel Ye, I'm the CEO of this company, and I'd like to introduce my CFO, Isaac Stoll. Next off, see my CEO, Brian Balberto. Head of Marketing, Avery Powers and Francis Nugget. Head of HR, Sophie Zidano. And Head of Research and Development, Ab Abby Graver. And finally, Head of PR, Nicole Doe. So, our mission is to provide a convenient way for you to access your food, limit food waste, and to promote a healthy and greener living. So you guys all have fridges, but do any of them connect to your smartphone? No, because that's our product. <laughs> and now I would like to hand it off to my head of research and development, Abby Graver, who will tell you more about our product. Not only does the IntelliFridge connect to your smartphone, it helps you organize your life. The IntelliFridge keeps an inventory of all the food that goes in and out. Using a special scanner, it also tells you a complete list of all the food that's in your fridge at any one given time. You can access this list through your phone anywhere, anytime, through Wi-Fi and an app, or through a screen that is located on the, phone, on the refrigerator, which also has internet connection. The IntelliFridge also tells you, through a special sensor, when your food is about to expire. This means that you can eat it before it spoils. This will save you both money and food. The IntelliFridge is personalized to you. This means that it keeps track of the food that you eat and notifies you when you run out of the food that you often have. It also helps you compile a grocery list of foods that you need to buy. It also is personalized to your specific diet. For example, if you have a food allergy, it will notify you when that food enters your fridge. We also have state-of-the-art features, such as a rotating turntable, so that you can access the food at the back of your fridge. We also are soon to be Energy Star certified, which means that we will be more environmentally friendly. Now we have Avery Powers, head of marketing. Little known fact, did you know that 8 million fridges are sold each year? I didn't, but I'm not. <laughs> We're planning to target less than 1% of that market. That includes busy families, busy parents, and people who do not like wasting food. Sounds like my family, so. In our second year, since we're still growing, we'll only sell to California. However, in our third year, when we're, you know, we're up there, we're gonna sell to all around Cal California and America, because you know, we love them and they're fantastic and we want their money. And now I'm gonna pass you on to Nicole Doe, Public Relations, Yolo.
check what's in your fridge so you can just go to the store and buy it. And that's called mobile connectivity. And the last thing that we have is that um, for us, like we, there's a screen on the refrigerator and it tells you when the food is about to rot. For other fridges, they just tell you the expiration date and foods can expire before that. So here's our COO, Brian. Uh, here, at, here at Intellivo, we treat our uh, employees with respect and honesty by providing them uh, the opportunity to balance both life and work. Our employees are provided with reasonable wages for, the, for therefore they can live on. Um, as a healthy living company, we, we believe that we should strive to make the most sanitary conditions for our workers so they can work free of, free of all that nasty stuff with most factories. And uh, Intellihome is a U.S.-based company, and we think that we should have all our jobs in the U.S.A. And Intellihome is a property, kind of property. Uh, our company is a charity company, and we should we believe that we will give one percent of our uh, profits to charity. And here is our head of HR, Sophie Stano. So here at Intellihome, our target employees are those eager and energized to innovate, seeing as we want our company to grow both in products and size. Um, although we expect most of our employees to be from college straight out, we do not discount the value of experience, meaning that we will be very open to recruit seasoned workers who can offer not only our employees their um, knowledge, but also our company as a whole. Um, we do have a termination process developed, um, meaning that we should an employee have a problem, we will have a series of discussions with them, and if we cannot solve that problem, we will of course be terminated. Um, once a part of our team, our, our employees will be benefit from a wider range of packages and groups that will be able to um, keep them happy and working at all times. Because many of our employees will be fresh out and fresh to the corporation program, we have developed something that will be able to partner both our older or more experienced employees with some of our newcomers so that they can develop their skills together. Profes our, although we enforce professional environment, we have different activities such as casual Fridays, um, organized um, collaborative sections, and frequent free time to develop personal skills. Finally, our benefits program is a cafeteria style um, program that will allow our employees for at least these first three years a $2,500 amount that they will be able to choose from health, dental, vacation, and sick time. Outside of this, we have maternity and paternity options for anyone who needs it. Now here's Isaac Stoll, our CFO. So, who gets excited with your finance? Ooh! <laughs> That's, yeah, exactly. Uh, <laughs> I love financing. I think financing is the most important part of the business. If you don't have financing, you don't have anything. So, as you can see, in our first year, we would be losing about a million dollars. This seems like a lot, but in our second year, we would be, from our first year, we would be building uh, units to sell in our second year. So in our second year, we would already have a base stock to sell. So, in our second year, from the added uh, costs and from the first year, that combination would sell to come to a profit of forty thousand dollars. In that third year, we would have uh, we would have a profit uh, that would skyrocket to four thousand percent from our second year. As you can see, our business is growing. We'd be selling our fridge at twenty five hundred to retailers uh, per unit. Now here's our CEO, Nathaniel. As you can see. Our company is growing rapidly. We went from $1 million short in the first year to making a profit the second year and making an even bigger profit the third year. We're planning to continue this fourth year, fifth year, all the way, keep going. We plan to expand our company slowly at first, but then hopefully taking it international. So as I mentioned before, we are a million dollars short for our first year to start off. So we are asking for a $1 million investment to cover these expenses for in exchange for 10% of our company. Thank you to the audience, the good-looking judges, and YouTube as well for telling those scores.